What's going on guys? It's Omni York and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where I'm going to be giving you my thoughts and opinions on the sunny springtime update and the implementation of the legendary tavern. So if you guys didn't see, uh, there was an update that came out and honestly, Shinchi made a video I saw he posted. He said something like every Rise of Kingdoms YouTuber is just like rushing to be the first to release this information to get all the views. And it's totally true. It's hundred percent true, but uh, I have a full-time job, right? And so I've pretty much thrown out the idea that I'm ever going to be like the first person to talk about something here on YouTube. All I can really do is give you my thoughts and opinions on these topics. And I think some of you guys seem to like when I go off on little rants and tangents yelling at Lilith and kind of making them feel stupid and I'll probably do that at some point in this video but yeah if that's what you clicked on this video for I'm I'm sure you'll get it anyway I want to talk about the legendary tavern first because this is something that a lot of players have asked me about especially since some of the strife of the eight uh kvks have started to see this we did see it featured over on Chiskel's channel where he talked about this right and ultimately you know am I excited about legendary tavern I guess, right? I mean, having a new way to get legendary commanders is exciting, right? But I don't really think it moves the needle for 95% of the players. So if you really look at the drop rates of all the commanders uh, and the fact that you're guaranteed one legendary every 10 keys, but uh, the keys are relatively expensive and sure you'll get some overtime for playing KBK. That's nice. That's fine. Right. Um, but I think what's going to end up happening is if, if you don't buy the bundles and you don't buy the keys, if you don't get these keys in excess, essentially, um, I think what's going to happen is you're going to get a small number of many legendaries in, and that's not that useful right i mean for most players you know if you have a if you have a two zero 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 ramses you might as well not even have him at all right because you're never going to use him so getting a small number of a larger variety of legendaries doesn't really matter right uh, and maybe over the course of a couple of kvks it'll you'll you'll unlock some or you know when you if you hit that 200 key opening and you get to pick a commander to unlock like cool but i don't think you're going to be able to get that 200 free to play so I don't know. Um, I, I want to yell at Lilith for this one, right? But I think from the beginning, I never really assumed that this would be a free to play friendly thing, right? I just, you know, when we first saw these leaked images, we didn't really know what, how much the keys costed. We didn't know how easily we'd be able to get them right. And in a world, well, I guess we did see the 600 here, but in a world where like, you know, the keys were easy to get, then this leak was exciting. Right. But, um, I don't know to me it's just i never thought that this was going to be like a way for free to play to catch up right because why would they ever do that so my expectations for this event were already low because lilith is just really good at, at having <laughs> tripping at the finish line basically if we're gonna keep it a buck right like they, they they seem to be tripping at the finish line lately with a lot of these events um, but this was one of the ones where my expectations weren't that high anyway um, and you can look here this is gonna be your average drop in case you guys were wondering if you're gonna open 10 keys you're probably gonna get anywhere from three to four legendary heads and they'll be randomly spread amongst this entire table here so yeah this is a great event if you're a brand new whale in the game if you just started playing rise of kingdoms and you're a couple of years behind the older players um this is the event where you're going to want to whale up and spend all your money to unlock all the commanders you don't have and yeah for everybody else it'll be fun to press that free key as often as we can and see what happens uh but honestly the, the drop rates are so low that it you know again it doesn't really move the needle for 99 percent of the players in my opinion we'll have to wait and see but yeah um again sort of what i expected unfortunately so that's my my thoughts and opinions on that again if you're free to play this this you know if you were excited about this then um i'm sorry to let you know that it's not really that great you're gonna get some stuff here that maybe you still need if you're not t5 yet but you know if i got this if i spent 10 keys and got this it would be that's a wash right like who cares all right update 45 sunny springtime is apparently coming on the 12th which is in just a couple of days i would say there's like a 50 percent chance this thing gets delayed because it seems like every time lilith puts a date on something it's like half the time it, it doesn't hit that mark but regardless apparently the skill lock update is coming here in just a couple of get days now guys if you missed the video where we talked about this this is the leaked image basically talking about how this is going to be how skill lock works 
works where it's a slider and instead of uh, you know we we thought based on the original wording of the original mail which we'll look at here in a second that you could pick which skill to lock apparently you can only pick which skill you lock in the order that Lilith approves of which is already how it was with the star system and I was very upset about the the revelation of this of this system because again it, it did not meet the expectations of the community and you know there were some people in the comments section of that video basically you know saying hey Omniarch you're kind of a fool or you're kind of an idiot for thinking that that's how it was gonna work it was never gonna work like that ha 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 you're so stupid for thinking that and it's like sure right sure but I feel like the community had a decent reason to believe that it would work that way and you know uh, Chiskel I'm gonna apologize here real quick but I do have to borrow this screenshot from your video because I thought that I showed this mail on a video and I feel like I did but I just can't find it in my channel for some reason uh, and you're much your channel is much more organized than mine so anyway I appreciate you Chiskel thank you please don't uh, copyright strike this video but I tried to pick a frame where like you're looking handsome and everything like that no no like funny faces or like mid blank or something like that but anyway so the original the original wording of this mail just so we're clear okay just so the people understand why myself and others are upset at the fact that this is likely what we're gonna get okay the original wording of this was that we don't want to make governors feel punished for upgrading a commander so we have decided to add the skill lock function to let governors choose which skills get leveled up first let me read that again to let governors choose which skills get leveled up first so when we read that as a community, we assumed we would be able to pick which skills got leveled up first. I feel like that's a completely reasonable expectation. Is it not? Is it not reasonable to expect that when the male said that? I don't know, call me crazy, but I assumed that we'd be able to choose. Apparently, we can only choose in the order that Lilith approves, which I talked about in that video is pointless and it's stupid and it was a waste of developer time for most players. If this is good for you, then I'm glad, right? There are some commanders in here that I'm probably going to use the skill reset on, which is great. I just think that this skill lock feature had a lot of potential and the original wording was misleading and they could have had a home run, but instead they bunted it and walked to first. So I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Hopefully you guys understand why my expectations were so high because they literally said it in their mail. But anyway, the less than stellar and rather disappointing skill lock feature is going to be coming on the 12th. The good news is all governors will get a limited number of skill reset items to ensure everyone can take advantage of this new function. Now, some players have asked me, Hey, Omniarch, do you think the skill reset function is going to give you universal legendary sculptures? And I think if you think that you're probably mentally insane. I think there's no chance. There's no shot that Lilith lets us get a skill reset feature that will just give us the equivalent amount of universals. I just, there's no way. There is no way that they're going to let me go in here and reset every single gold key commander and then use all those sculptures on my Nebu. There's just no way. Okay. No shot. There's no shot. There's no shot. They're not doing it. So guys, I think the skill reset feature is going to give you a, the same number of sculptures that you've invested into that commander in that commander's specific sculpture. So if you put 50 sculptures into Ramses and you want to reset them, they'll give you 50 Ramsey sculptures in exchange. I'm hoping that's how it works. I think that's the best that we can expect. Now, what I really want to know is, is this skill reset item something that's going to be permanently in the game or are they just giving out, giving it out once we use them and that's it. You can't get any more. Okay. I would like to think that this skill reset item will be in the game similar to a civilization change. If it is, then that's good news. Okay. Because what that means is you can bring a commander. If let's say you want a five, one, five, five, go on you. Okay. Like somebody I know you can get his first skill to five. You can bring him to four stars and then you can put in heads to see where they land. And if they don't land in your favor, you can reset it and you can do it again. And as long as we can continue to purchase these skill reset items, you could keep doing it until you get a favorable outcome. Now, how expensive this skill reset is? Well, the devil's in the details. If this skill reset item costs 500 gems, well then, hey, that's actually not too bad. But if it costs 10,000 gems, well then, I guess we'll have part six of the same rant against Lilith. <laughs> But it looks like they're going to send out another mail with more information about this. So 
we've got more to look forward to boys the show must go on let's say uh let's take a look at some of the other optimizations here okay because we've talked a lot about everything that you guys wanted to hear about it says um we've had numerous complaints about lag yes nothing is new here this game has been lagging since the very first day that it came out and has it been improved over time I think slightly right i think it would be disingenuous to say that the lag is just as bad as it's always been i think it's slightly better but i think ultimately it's still really it's really bad in a lot of like kvks and things like that so they're adding a new graphical option basically it's going to look like stick figures on a screen but it should perform rather well which hey you know if you're in a kvk you probably don't really care what it looks like because you're just fighting numbers against numbers now here's here the, bullet point number two is sus okay this is sus Let's just be clear. I, I, I'm putting on a tinfoil hat, okay? It says we've added an explanation of the chance to forge special talent equipment in to the forging system description. Governors should now be able to make better informed decisions about how to invest their materials. Please note that we have only added a description and have not made any changes to the chance. Now, as we talked about in the other video where we talked about all of these leaks just a few days ago, this is apparently, according to Lilith, this is apparently how it's always been, right? If we take a look back at that mail, it says we've had an explanation. Please note that we've only added a description and have not made any changes to the chance. So they're saying that the chance to special talent has always been 11% for the first forge, 22% for the third forge, and so on with a guaranteed crit on the fifth forge. And you know, it's, it's hard to say that I, I feel like this is not true. I, I just I just don't feel like it's true. I feel like this is not how it's always been. That's just and, and again, this is a feeling. This is not ba based on data. This is not based on facts. But I feel like I have forged some equipment more than five times, right? And we're talking like grays, right? The gray equipments. I think I I I'm pretty sure I have forged some of that equipment more than five times without getting a special talent in the past. So I, I I'm I'm putting on my tinfoil hat. Um, call me a conspiracy theorist, but I don't think this is how it's always worked. I, I just don't. I, I'm sorry. I don't think this is how it's always worked. Lilith is claiming that this is how the special talent system has always worked. I don't believe it, but you know, hey, it is what it is. Now you know. This is apparently how special talents work. Congratulations. It's, it's you know, in terms of legendaries, this is impossible. Like most, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Everyone knows the special talent systems of scam anyway, right? Like, let's be real. It's a scam. Anyway, let's take a look at some of these other bullet points, okay? Added more commander support skills to Heroic Anthem and Lost Kingdom Season of Conquest. Cool. You can now view uh, camp information in the Eve of the Crusade event. Great. You can now view information on governors who are not part of your alliance by tapping their troops on the map. Okay, cool. Special notice has been added from when your troops are being attacked, but not fighting back. Hey, that is good news as long as the lag is actually fixed. Because if the lag is not fixed, then it actually doesn't matter because you're going to lose anyway. So whether or not it's like, hey, your troops are... Oh, they're dead. Okay, they're dead. Never mind. Oh, the game crashed. Oh, there's lag. We sent you a notice, but you were too busy reloading the game. Awkward. Anyway, yeah. So this is this. No, in all reality, like if I'm being honest, this is this is a good change. I would like to know this. However, uh, again, most of the time that my troops are getting attacked without me fighting back is because I'm lagging out. So, anyway, uh, number seven. It says to allow governors to enjoy a wide variety of city themes. Active limited time themes will not expire when a new theme is used and can be used again during its duration. So basically, this what this means is if you have one of those three day or seven day limited themes and you switch it out for something else, you can still switch back to that theme during those three days. After that, then it's gone. Um, I didn't. I don't really care about limited time themes. Honestly, I think they're kind of like silly and cheap uh but whatever anyway uh it says optimize the calculation method method for imperium kingdoms troops in the hall of heroes will not be returned at the end of the season regardless of whether or not the governor is online so <clears throat> yeah the more accurate the calculation the better obviously for everybody um now number nine basically talks about the implementation of a siege unit zone in your hospital and we again we talked about this in the leak video so guys if you're if you're getting the trend here uh we tend to talk about these things before they come into the game so if you want to know about things that are going to come to the game before they come to the game you should hit that sub button subscribe to the channel click the bell to be notified and all that good stuff but anyway you're gonna be able to put like 50,000 extra siege into your hospital on top of your uh, hospital capacity um this is interesting which means you know players are just gonna lose less siege now which means that you know yss theodora in a flag filled with siege is probably gonna be meta <laughs> uh, I, I'm, I'm like half kidding about that but yeah you're gonna see you know the 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 
burning siege thing is gonna stay a thing for a while and now you're gonna continue to have siege to do that with so congratulations if that was your favorite strategy this is uh this is sort of a buff to that strategy added a new star characters feature to the character management screen governors can now more conveniently manage their multiple characters what this means is accounts right they're not talking about like commanders or anything like that they're talking about literally like you go into settings and you go to character management you're gonna be able to star these so basically if you have like a uh, you know a bunch of accounts here but you have only like one main and one farm then you're gonna be able to star them oops it's your boy omni arc um you're gonna be able to star them and that way they're maybe they're always at the top or something like that i don't know that that's fine i guess if you needed that then congrats it's coming to the game but it's not something that i really care about uh number 11 in order to make managing member applications easier the alliance leader and a officers can now go to settings notifications approval reports in their profile and set a minimum power level great okay <clears throat> that's good if you have a popular alliance then this is a nice feature uh edit a number of alliance symbols cool i like pictures optimize the kill records we've talked about this in my leak video so again subscribe click that bell anyway um yeah this is basically if you are a t1 farmer then congratulations because you might as well just paint your face Put on a big red nose and a nice green wig and call yourself a clown because that's what you are and we're all gonna know now because of this new kill record feature now of course we always could tell because we could just click on the little eye there and see oh look he killed a billion t1 what a loser can you imagine killing that many t1 like can you really imagine killing like 500 million t1 units like how long it takes to do that and just like that's what you decided to do through time. anyway the deceptive troops item has been a joke we've already known this right it doubles your troop count but doesn't double your power so everyone's like haha what an idiot he thinks he apparently they're changing that item who cares and that's that guys if you aren't happy with the skill lock feature then go ahead and click this little green button here go ahead and click that button let them know be like hey you had a great opportunity here and you missed the mark again but we'll have to wait and see if the skill reset item is free or cheap and or abundant then perhaps we don't need to pick the skill because we could just reset it a bunch of times but if that item is scarce or limited or only a set number per character period well then we have a problem anyway guys if you enjoyed this video if you found it useful or informative or entertaining or funny or anything like that just drop a thumbs up on it it helps out the channel a ton and like i said before subscribe if you're new around here click the bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video and comment down below what your thoughts and opinions are of this coming update and the legendary tavern event as always social media links in the description follow me over there on instagram twitter facebook discord all that stuff it's always down there and a link to download rise of kingdoms absolutely for free for your PC or your Mac, it's a program called BlueStacks. It's my favorite way to play, and the game looks actually good. When we're not staring at blocks of text, the game actually looks pretty good if we're being honest, okay? So you want to look at it on a bigger screen, click the link down below. If you don't like it, you can just uninstall it and delete it. But like I said, it's free. Give it a try. Click the link. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been Omniarch. I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.